What's going on guys? It's the Nola Hub here back with another video here to announce some beautiful news. I'm sure you've already heard. I was working yesterday and I hung out with some friends and I was so tired by the time I got home I just couldn't bring myself to make a video. Anyway, the New Orleans Saints gave Ryan Ramchek a five-year, $96 million extension with $60 million guaranteed. Beautiful signing. I love everything about this. But before we get started, um, I'm very excited to announce that I am now a contributor for Who Dat Dish. So I will be writing articles for them. My first article comes out on Friday. When it does uh, come out, I'll put a little community tab like thing. It would mean the world for me if you checked it out and left me some feedback. Um, I really want to know like what I can improve on, how I'm doing, and. It's just really cool to see my name like on a big website and writing for my favorite team. Anyway, let's talk about why this was a money, W, just everything. This is the perfect sign. Now, I have said on this channel multiple times that I wanted to prioritize Ryan Ramchek over Marshawn Lattimore, Marcus Williams, and everyone else, all those extensions. And I stand by that. This was the right move. When you have the best at what he does, you get him back. Because Marshawn Lattimore is good, right? But he's no Jair Alexander. He's no Jalen Ramsey. And he might not even be a top 10 quarter. And if he is, it's very, very low. And I'm not saying let's not re-sign Marshawn Lattimore. That's not what I'm saying at all. We definitely need him back. Our corner depth is terrible, everything about it. But what I'm saying is Ryan Ramchek is irreplaceable. And I'm not saying Marshawn Lattimore is replaceable. I'm saying it's way harder to replace the best right tackle than a fringe top 10 corner. Now, uh, the money, it's a lot of money, but I'm going to tell you why that is irrelevant. And first off, we're the Saints. Cap space is a myth, but it's the number one uh, paying right tackle gig in the NFL right now, but... See, when the market is always changing in the NFL, and especially next year when cap room goes up, by the time his contract's over, he'll probably be the 15th highest paid right tackle. On, honest to God. I mean, look at Teron Armstead. I'm pretty sure he was in the top five when he signed his contract. Now he's making like, like little tackle money. Little tackle money. Because when he signed it, it was massive, but the market increased and tackles demanded more and they are one of the most valuable positions on the football field and one thing i also read why this is even a better deal is they might move ryan ramchek to left tackle after teron's contract is done and if he does that then he's being paid not nearly enough to be a left tackle because left tackle is the most important position on the o-line behind right tackle um for whatever quarterback comes in next you need a good strong right tackle um, uh, clearly we don't have Drew Brees anymore and I don't think we're going to have another Hall of Fame quarterback for a while so some of these mid-level quarterbacks that we have are going to need protection they're going to need more help because they're not as elite as Drew Brees so locking up a guy like Ryan Ramchek who will just bully the fuck out of edge rushers is absolutely perfect absolutely beautiful I love everything about this deal um cap space is a myth for the new orleans saints as we all know <laughs> so I, I i literally could not care about the money um i think if you work it out it's a little less than 20 million dollars a year which isn't even that bad because i'm pretty sure trent williams but he is a left tackle is getting paid 23 i think they're honestly on the same level just a different position so yeah, I, I, I am beyond happy. I was on my way to work. I got the notification. I said, this, this is probably the best move of the offseason. Honestly, this is the best move of the offseason. I mean, it's not like we really did anything. But uh, getting this done is a world of relief. I want a grand check back so badly. And I'm so excited to see what he has in store. And to be honest, if he keeps this up, he is probably an NFL Hall of Famer. And we need more Saints in the Hall of Fame, honest to God. I mean, we don't have that many. I think we have some of the low, the lowest Hall of Fame count. I could be wrong. Not the lowest, but we're like 
in the bottom 20, I think. I could be totally wrong, but... Anyway, guys, Ryan Ramchek, W's in the chat for him. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Um, and without further ado, peace.